Okay, this video is going to be spectacular because I'm going to explain how you can get a best-selling cover design for your Kindle books. So let's get started. Howdy ladies and gentlemen, this is Jordan Alexo and today let's talk about how you can get an awesome cover design for your Kindle books. Anyway, if you still haven't liked this video, go right below, click on the thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive more of this type of videos on a weekly basis where I share with you plenty of tips related to self-publishing and several ways to make money online. And if you would like to do your first $1,000 with Kindle Publishing and scale up your business on a monthly basis, just check out my newest course called Self-Publishing Money Machine. I'm going to leave a link right below in the description from this video so you can click on it and get more information. Now let's talk about how you can get an awesome cover design. If you don't know, a cover design is one of the most important selling points of your Kindle books because most customers decide whether they are going to get your book or not just based on the cover alone because as they say, a picture speaks more than a thousand words or something like that. Anyway, it's it's kind of true when it comes to cover because a cover design with a good image with a good title uh, entices people to get your book and a lot of people uh, want to have they like to have nice things and you want to have a cover design that looks so good that people simply want to have your book as part of their collection so they can have an awesome cover in the middle of all of the books that they have in their collection. Now I'm going to explain the trick for you to do this and we are going to use Fiverr.com. Of course, if you want, you can also design your cover, your covers, okay? I don't recommend for you to do that. I used to do this in the past. I still design plenty of covers for my cookbooks in the past and for other books also in other niches. And I still design about uh, 20 or even more than 20 cover designs. And some of those covers sold my books pretty well. I even had some a few bestsellers. But it got to a point where I decided to stop. And the reason why I decided to stop, and I'm not telling you to not try to design your covers, but if you are going to try to design your covers, you you got to have really good skills either with canva.com which is completely free. I personally use Photoshop and you need to have really good skills when it comes to using those kind of uh, editing image softwares, okay? You really need to know what you are doing. You also need to have an idea of the type of covers that sell. It's not easy. And I decided to do stop doing my cover designs because the first reason is it's simply very time consuming. I used to take a whole afternoon just to design a cover, okay? And when you have uh, like uh, to design six, uh, six, six cover designs on a monthly basis because at some point I was publishing six, seven books each month, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work and I just prefer to use my time in other parts of my business. The other thing is I, I simply prefer to leave this work to someone who is just proficient at it, you know, because the people that you can find on Fiverr, they do cover designs their entire day. They do this for a living. So they simply have more experience than me and you together. And it's not worth you making and your cover designs. And the other reason is it's, I mean, it's fairly cheap. Okay, so it's not worth it. Okay, so what we are going to do, okay, we are going to Fiverr and we are going to search for Kindle cover. And you will find several people over here that you can just get a gig and hire someone to make a cover design for you. Now, um, there are a few things that you kind of need to kind of stay away, okay? Uh, once you start publishing after a while, you start noticing if you start noticing that some books just have this really publisher cover design feel to it uh, and you just want to stay away from covers that are pretty cookie or cookie cutter 
and everyone is just using that type of covers you just want to stay away from that kind of covers because that really doesn't help your book sell well and I mean if you are spending money on ordering your books from a ghostwriter company like the urban writers which is the company I suggest for you to check out and uh, you're not putting the best covers for your book it really doesn't help much so what I recommend for you to do is you search for a Kindle cover, you choose uh, three gigs over here, and you order from three different people a cover design for the same book. And this will take like uh, th two to three days until you receive the cover from each of these uh, people who did your cover design. And then based on those three covers, you choose the best one for your book. And from that moment forth, you use the same person for your newest books. So initially you are going to spend a bit more money to get someone who is decent at designing your cover. But later on it's just cheaper because you use continuously the same person for your cover design. Okay, so what you do is you would, I recommend for you to go over here, see the different gigs that belong to other different people over here. And you may go and open their profiles and check the work that they have over here to see if this is the, the type of cover that you would like for your book. This guy actually doesn't seem, guy or girl, I'm not sure, content, I'm not sure, uh, not, not that bad, fairly decent, not that, uh, <laughs> I would say it's not the best thing I, I saw in my life. Also make sure that uh, the person that you decide to, to get for your cover design is someone who has on their portfolio, they have uh, covers for nonfiction books, okay? Because sometimes you, for example, this person probably just has covers for fiction books and you, I mean, it doesn't make sense for you to hire this person for your, your cover. And I talk about publishing nonfiction, so. So what you do is you get three people with the, the work that you prefer the most, okay? And uh, what you do is you just press continue. It will ask some basic information about your book, such as the, the title and the subtitle of your book. It may ask uh, the type of image that you would like for the, your cover and some other information It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if there's something that you want unique, you need to mention it over there once you press continue. Or you can even contact the seller to just provide more information about the type of cover that you would like. Okay. Then you do this for three different people. And once you receive your cover, you choose the best one for your book. And then you start using that same person for your newest books. So this is what I've done when it comes to to getting book, uh, cover designs. And even though this is in Fiverr, you can still f get some people to get awesome cover designs, okay? So, uh, but you kind of want to stay away. Let me see over here. I just want to give you an idea of the kind of cookie cover designs, cookie cutter cover designs like this person over here I actually saw this guy initially but this is the kind of covers that just smells like you are a publisher I don't know how to, to explain this but you see often a lot of this type of covers when you go to Amazon and you immediately know that this cover belongs to a publisher. I'm not saying that they are exactly bad, 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 but they just have that publisher smell to them. I don't know how to explain that. There's something about them that you immediately shade, at least I shade based on my experience, that this belongs, if someone published a book with this cover, that that book just belongs to a publisher. And this is the type of covers that you kind of want to stay away. I'm not saying that this person is exactly bad, but there's certainly other, I would go for someone else besides that person, okay? So yeah, that is the trick I do when it comes to getting my cover designs. And that is all for this video. And also make sure to check self-publishing Money Machine. 
I'm going to leave a link to my course right below so you can go to that page and get more information. If you have any questions related to self-publishing, leave it right below. I'll try to help you out. And also like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Jordan Lexo and bye. Thank you.